Let's go get coffee. Where is our car? I lost it. Lost our car? First task of the day is heading to the wood shop to get some uh, wood for the extra wall and the ceiling before going home and cut what is the scariest hole in the van. Okay, so we have are tracing template the template around the holes. And now, get my safety gear. Sasha So is gonna cut it. End of the truth. Is it fitting? Yeah, snug, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, because it kind of... Yeah, we're going to like... Pops up. Yeah, slightly a little bit more. Almost there. It's always better a little bit small than too big. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Not yet? Yeah, this corner. I think this is only this corner here. Ah. Uh, yeah, maybe just to be safe, shave a little bit this corner only. Okay. This is gonna be the right one, baby. I feel it. That's pretty good. Pretty I'd good. say it's fine. Do you want to check from below and just see which direction? Because we got to make sure we can touch the dial. Okay. So here is what we see from down below. Uh, Wait a sec. Can you lift it up? Okay, push it down. It looks good. Yeah, it has to face that way. Once we finish to install the fan, it's time to work on the roof and the final two walls. Just some, some other uh, safety features of our build. I will show you our uh, cutting table right now. <laughs> so this is our cutting table under here. We are balancing the piece of wood on Stefano's surfboard. He almost cut his surfboard. That's a lie. And uh, some old shelf that we're not sure if we, we weren't sure if we were using, but then Stefano cut a hole in it. So we are definitely not so using it. it was a touch <laughs> I didn't like it. So this is our situation. So basically, just make do with what you have. You don't need fancy tools. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going quite fast with the building. Um, today we are working on the upper cabinet that are gonna go along this wall, kitchen side, and down there where the bedroom is. It's gonna be like a little wardrobe and on this side in between those we're gonna just do a little shelf just because you don't want to put a cabinet where people are sitting and hit the head um, so right now i'm cutting them pieces i took already measurement and i'm just cutting pieces and sanding and start to build this little section first and then we work on the second section uh, we got some exciting news coming uh, so the bed is ready we went to pick up the foam, ordered the foam today. So it's ready to pick up in a couple of days. We bought a butcher block for the cabinets. And what well, else? I think building wise, we only have to build the last two cabinets. Oh, we choose painting as well. So we're gonna start to paint tomorrow. Uh, we need to work something here. We bought um, sort of like gap filler, uh, vibration resistant, 
crack resistant um, at the bolt shop. Uh, so we are going to, uh, to try to fill this gap here. So it will be much tidy. And there will be a cabinet here. So you won't really notice, but there's gonna be some spot where the cabinet is not gonna be there. So it's, it will be noticeable. So we try to make like a smooth and clean surface. And then all we have to do to be left is this cabinet that cover all this wiring and the sliding toilet which will be there under the behind, behind the seat uh, and then we're finished with building we're just touching up and fixing all the things along the way exciting check it out this is what it looks like so this is gonna be the small chamber for the AC and this is gonna be closed and it's gonna be another piece of wood up front with this vent we're gonna put two of them so the AC uh, the cold air comes here and then just goes in the van and this is gonna be either pantry or cup holder or whatever they want to use it for. Now we're gonna build the top part and structure is ready. So the cabinet, it's completely done. The last part that I need to connect is this one. Uh, I cut the hole already and it just need to be pulled on and screw the vents on. So, and it will be ready to go on the on the wall and then Sasha will work on the uh, doors that's it for tonight I'll see you in the morning uh, we're gonna start painting and we're gonna work on the second cabinet so exciting day tomorrow last project of the build construction wise what? is gonna be uh building the cabby around this toilet and build like a like a sh shell around these cables so that they're not visible uh so what i'm going to do today is yeah building like little bench and the toilet is gonna be underneath and it's gonna be on slides so it can come out and stay and go back in so it's stuck away and uh hidden and then we're gonna work on this like I don't know, shell around this uh, cable. Uh, the good thing is I built the second upper red cabinet that is going up here. Uh, Sasha is uh, priming them right now. Um, we haven't decided if we want to build another one on this side. Uh, we're just going to put two on and see uh, if it's too busy, too cluttered. Uh, we're just going to use one side. If not, I'll probably make another one for the bed side on this side. All right, second try, already looks better. Um, I'm gonna poke a hole here, so the sides will make it a little bit more stable, and then I'm gonna do the back too, and probably reinforce here and here, so it's a little bit more sturdy. You got it? Or is it gonna pop out? Yeah. Is 
Good Firm boy. fit. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And put the toilet in it. Yay. Nice. I like it. Yeah. yeah, I think it's adorable. It fits well with the other thing. Okay, let me try. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, you do your thing. It looks good. This is my job today. It is looking so freaking good. There's nothing that better than start today with a fresh coat of painting, huh? Eh? Is it your favorite job? No. None of them are my favorite jobs. <laughs> All of them are my least favorite jobs. So why, what's your favorite job? Why are we doing this? To create something beautiful? <laughs> my favorite job is laying in the bed when it's done. Yeah. This afternoon, I'm the designated painter as Sasha is at work. It's a task that I don't really like to do, but yeah, I guess we have to move forward, keep going. So I'm gonna start painting this wall with this cream chai uh, color. Um, hopefully it looks good. We were not really sure about it. So yeah, just so it looks good. Otherwise we have to prime and paint everything again. Uh, the rest of the bust is all primed, except the last wall. Uh, the rest is all white, and this is waiting to get sanded. Uh, other than that, we are good with priming. So all the walls are gonna be these colors, and the cabinets are gonna stay white, and the ceiling is gonna stay white. So hopefully it looks, it looks good. two cabinets we cut yeah yes, i did i cut the door and uh, we are going to do the trim trimming no trim. kind of like a mini barn door vibe yeah we tried it with two by ones but it's quite bulky it worked yeah, in the bus like... with three by ones but in such a small well. yeah, space, space the two by ones is way too bulky so we're gonna find some trim to make excuse the bird to make a little frame around them so they look cute maybe a little handle we got our hinges. Yeah, we do. So we some more painting. Yeah, we just need to decide which color it's gonna be. Probably white. White, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then put them on, and hopefully everything looks fine together. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we always say. Just hopefully yeah, it looks good just, after we do that. We keep building and hope for the best. Yeah. At the end, it's always good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next job. Since we are stuck with the electric system, which we forgot to buy the uh, attachment, and we're waiting for all the cabinet to dry, we decide to start to work on the butcher block. So we're gonna divide this in three pieces. Uh, the main one is gonna be for a sink and a cutting, spray, cutting board. Then we're gonna have the second for the cooktop. And then the third one, a small one, it will be uh, a flip up table. So the architect is. I'm measuring the counters. We probably want to go over each side an inch. Do you think? Well, one side no. So this side no because the walls here. Yeah. But this side yes. Yeah. Put it on the end of the white bit. Um, 
Yeah, we have the sink. All right, we have a hole. Uh, it seems like a easy task because you think, oh, it's just cutting a hole, but it's really, really stressful because this is a butcher block. So if you mess up with like the cutting or you just chip it, there's nothing else you can do. Uh, then you're gonna have like a cheap butcher block. So I was super, super nervous. Um, I did it try already once and it seems to feel nice, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, it also has this like, the sink has this little like hook where you can hook the sink to the bottom. It's a pretty tight fit, but it fits really really good that's a win then we're gonna install this little like clamp or i don't know how to call them uh, from the bottom which is gonna keep this in place and we're gonna silicone as well so it prevents water to go down in the cabinet but that's a win okay this is the result so you got a nice faucet Beautiful sink, it's not connected yet. Um, such as painting the seats down there, looks good, baby. And we have a problem. The problem is that the gray water tank that we bought is too small. Okay, another productive day. Not as productive as we hoped, as always, but we feel pretty good. We finished all the electrical today, which was a big task. Yeah. Um, the solar panels are now charging the batteries. Good. We um, installed the butcher block countertop. Stefano did that. The sink and the faucet for the kitchen. We worked on the other kitchen cabinet. I painted uh, the upper and lower cabinets as well. So we're going to call it a day. It's actually Stefano's birthday. So we are going to get... I'm turning 21. <laughs> what? We are going to well... get all dolled up and clean and we're gonna go for dinner <laughs> They put parmesan on a pizza. Italians don't put parmesan on a pizza. Delicious! Yeah. What is this? Cannoli. What's with what? Ricotta and chocolate. Are you Italian? Si. Cioccolato. Cioccolata or cioccolato, not cioccolate. In the next week video, you're gonna see us finish the bathroom, finish the kitchen and installing all the art and decor in order to make this the prettiest van in California. As always, thank for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel. This would be an amazing support and help us grow. Ciao, ciao.